Hi guys, Llama here. Today I'm going to show you how to get head tracking on the PC. It works in most flights and space sims, and you probably have all the hardware you already need. First thing you'll do is go to the GitHub links in the description below. You will download AI Track and Open Track. These softwares together use your webcam to find your face and see what direction it's facing and track its movements. They will then input the inputs into DCS and it will convert that to head movements in the game. You'll open the AI track zip folder and export the files to somewhere that you can access them later. Um, you want to create a shortcut for AI track. And you'll also run the EXE on the open track GitHub page on the releases. Once you have these programs open, it'll look similar to this. I'm tracking right now, so I'll stop. Open configuration. You're going to select your webcam you want to use. All right, and we'll close out of that. We'll hit start tracking. Normally, it'll pop up an image. Uh, you can enable preview. It just shows what your webcam sees and what it's actually tracking. Here's my beautiful face. Uh, you can see the dots, how it sees the eyes, the mouth, the nose, the jaw. And uh, you can see that it's putting input into OpenTrack. Let's open up DCS and we'll see how it looks. Okay, now that we're in DCS, you can, uh, you can see it's not the best. Definitely going to take some uh, adjustments to get done, but um, you have head tracking. So you'll go into your settings. You're going to go to adjust controls, access commands, and there should be a box for track IR now. So you're going to go to Z, pitch, X, Y. Um, make sure you go in and access tune. Some of these you're going to have to invert. Like... Um, See how I'm I'm moving my head right now, and it's not giving me. This is my up and down. It's not giving me a lot of uh, movement here, but I don't really want that. You want like your yaw pitch and roll. So we're gonna look at the axis tunes of the yaw pitch and roll. I have this weird profile here. I would probably want to add a little more curvature, more curvature and more saturation. Do you want to play around with this until you can get your head to where you can see around the cockpit? Because you're going to see the... Because I turned that so far up, I can look all the way behind me and I'm barely turning my head. It, it seems like it would be weird at first, but you eventually get used to it. I am more of a VR guy myself, but I started playing DCS with this before I got VR. So you're going to have to go in and tune these little axes until you can get everything the way you like it to where it's good. But that's the fun part about DCS is constantly messing with settings. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I will be back with more DCS tutorials and beginner tutorials. Um, so don't forget to like and uh, subscribe for more content. And I will see you all on the flip side.